Hello Internet, today I'm going to show you how to uh, run your own cross-site scripting demo so you can try it for yourself. Um, I had my little tutorial on this but uh, I've just created a simple site that is susceptible to, to cross-site scripting. Um, so let's just go ahead and clone that. Here we go. Now it's an incredibly basic site. This is not something I would actually develop and I haven't spent too much time on it so the code looks a bit ugly. So please do not use this as a representation of how I actually program. It's a bare bones uh, site, but it gets the point across. So um, once you've cloned it, you'll have your area. See, you can read the readme if you want to, but all you gotta do is just, as long as you have Docker installed, you know, so like, can't type today. There you go. Uh, all you gotta do is just run the build and run script if you want. Um, let's just take a look at it. So all I'm gonna do is build the site and then run it. Yeah. But uh, you can, I can also use it to reset my site. So so it's running. It'll be on localhost. So you can either type localhost or you could do 127.0.0.1, right? And there's a cute cat picture, just like the internet, and you got like a comment section, like, hello, that's super cute, or awesome, right? And then I've even gone to the effort of allowing multi-line comments, so like, this is a multi-line, right? Innocent enough, People, you wanna add comments on your site, and there's a cute cat photo. But the, the, the bad part is, um, I don't use any the site doesn't use anything to uh, escape uh, code, right? So in PHP, you would use something like uh, HTML special cars. So for example, script, I'm just gonna put alert. It's the most basic, hello, to get the point across world. Diddly -diddly. The script. And then to make my comment, so it's not just a blank line, so it's not obvious, so I can just be like, yeah, that's super cute. Awesome. Um, and then submit query. And then bang, the page refreshes. So immediately I see hello world. But you only see, yeah, that's super cute. Yeah, so JavaScript uh, executes immediately when your your page loads. But the th thing is, it's not just you. It's anyone who visits the site. Well, you can just read that tutorial about how bad that is. So um, just, just a quick one in here. If you're a PHP developer, all you got to do is take your input, which would be like input equals, uh, so this would be the comment script type equals text, that's JavaScript. And then I've got my alert. <sighs> Hello world, I'm tr making sure to get my oh, quotes the right way around um, because, yeah. And then slash script. Right, uh, I think that's right. So quote, uh, quote, and then singles all the way through. So yeah, alert, hello world. That was my comment from before. Uh, and then I just have to put like, yeah, that's super cute. So that's that's the input that was passed in. Now if I just, I've made sure to do escaped input equals HTML special cars dot input. Now, if I was to, on the page, if I was to print that out instead, you would see this. It does this, so the H, it does not actually get converted to JavaScript and does not actually render, and you'll see this but ugly comment in the comment section, and if the user is identifiable or whatever, you'll be obvious. it'll be obvious who tried to do the attack. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I recommend you go play for yourself. Um, yeah, enjoy.